Steve Quayle is with us for the next hour and 52 minutes. We're going to open phones up for part of the third hour today. Steve Quayle is a best-selling author, uh, syndicated radio talk show host, uh, and of course, uh, one of the modern founders of the prepping movement. He's been doing what he does for about 25 years. I first interviewed Steve Quayle in 1996, 19 years ago. And Steve Quayle was on my show about six years ago, and he said they're going to send the census group out to mark the GPS of everyone's doorstep. And they had mainstream news, news articles saying he was crazy. It happened a year later. Uh, he said they're marking your doors for the military for gun confiscation and will even use predator drones uh, with hellfires if you resist. Two years later, that was in mainstream news. So he says a lot of stuff that really sounds wild at the time, but it's coming from his sources, and he does have some really good sources. He also hosts uh, national TV shows uh, on uh, some of the ancient wonders, things like that. He, he's a very interesting fellow. We should have him on sometime just about that. I, I saw part of the national TV show he's doing. It just looked like something you know better than HBO when he was down in Central and South America recently. But we see uh, the situation in Cleveland, Ohio. They're set today or tomorrow to have the uh, verdict on another police shooting. Uh, Jakari Jackson and Joe Biggs just got on the ground there this morning. Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Burlow verdict. Protesters block Lakeside Avenue already. That's out of WKYC. And again, there are some police brutality problems. There is some thug culture problems uh, everywhere. Uh, there's a federalization problem, but Al Sharpton has met over 100 times at the White House. Al Sharpton says it's about federalizing police. We saw what the feds did at Waco. That's not going to stop problems with the police. They're the ones that have changed the police culture. They're the ones that have given them the MRAPs. And it continues to be Democrat-run cities like Baltimore where this stuff is happening. Or Cleveland, for that matter. Is pretty much Democrat. Not as much so as, as Baltimore, but close. They want to take the social angst that's here and create a Arab-style spring, as Al Gore has said, a black spring. Blacks' unemployment has doubled in the last seven years with a black president in black-run cities. It's globalism doing this, not whitey, but the system wants to get tribal warfare going ahead of destabilization. Matt Drudge has tweeted that it could bring the country down. Sociologists, anthropologists have come out. Economists have said it could bring the country down. Could it be used as a smokescreen for the economic collapse that they now admit is accelerating? They've been papering over it with money printing. Or is it a war with Russia they're getting ready for? Is it economic collapse they're getting ready for? Is it race war they're getting ready for? Or as Congressman Louis Gomer has now come out, a news article I'm going to quote here in a moment after Steve has some time to talk. He's saying now from Texas, he believes Jade Helm is a way to try to, quote, provoke a fight with citizens. And he's worried somebody might take a pot shot, basically. That's what I've been saying for a month. This, I believe, overall is a drill. But within the larger drills, we know they're practicing for domestic takeover. That's in the Army's own documents. But they've used drills before to bootleg false flags run by outside groups. We know ISIS is in all 48 lower states, in, in CONUS, the contiguous lower 48. I get attacked, people saying, what do you mean? You say the terror is all staged. No, Al-Qaeda was pretty much staged and, and, and funded. Th th this ISIS group is real groups that have been funded and organized and protected, but they're real. You notice the Second Amendment took them out. So there's a lot of lines coming together, a perfect storm, a confluence right now. And I wanted to get Steve Quayle, one of the first people to be out there warning about this 25 years ago. The first guy I heard talking about chemtrails, the first guy I heard talking about so many issues that are now mainstream news. He wants to talk about weather weapons today. In fact, we can, you can just search. Dubai controls the weather. Russia controls the weather. 
uh, Atlantic, Associated Press, admitting they're manipulating the weather. But then we say, hey, we've had meteorologists on. Looks like they're blocking rain from the Pacific. They say, shut up, nut. Obama didn't create the tornado in Oklahoma City, which you never said. A caller called in and said, could this have been manufactured? And I said, they do have these technologies, but generally, no. We've always had tornadoes in Oklahoma. They then try to discredit the whole thing, saying, I said he made that tornado three years ago that hit, that hit Oklahoma City and killed so many. The F5 or whatever it was. Just like we said we should watch Jade Helm because it's all part of a conditioning process. They now say, I said it's an imminent takeover to, again, discredit us when it doesn't happen. The problem is we didn't say that. And Louis Gohmert and the governor and others have said they list patriots as the number one terror threat. They admit they want the military to train to take them on. So we need to have a national debate on this subject. Now I'm going to give Steve Quell the floor for the next six minutes so we go to break to break down from his intel where all this is going and what he thinks. Is it a confluence of all of it? Or are they getting ready for one thing? Uh, or is this all just a ratcheting up in the conditioning? Steve Quell of SteveQuell.com. Thanks for coming on. Uh, good morning, Alex. Well, I think it's all of the above, and it's being staged. It's being uh, staged concurrently and consecutively. And uh, let's just talk about the biggest issue. When it comes to Jade Helm, outside of very few uh, oh, news services and others showing the photos of uh, U.N. up-armored Humvees and U.N. hospital trucks and everything, I think the big point is, is that the military lost their effective ability to even appear to tell the truth when no one addressed publicly. I don't believe, and I could be wrong, but did anybody in Bastrop, Texas, ask why the presence of up-armored U.N. vehicles? I don't think so. Why that's critical is because of you've talked about it, I've talked about it, everybody is now aware or should be aware of global disarmament. This is the plan to turn the police against the people, turn the people against the police, I said that almost 20 some years ago on coast to coast, and I, whoever the host was at that time, it, I think it was originally our bell. Well, I know it was our bell, but then it switched to George Norrie. I repeated it, and everyone said, I hope not. It's my contention that this Waco uh, and biker gang thing, it looked too contrived. Bottom line is, I'm not saying that it didn't happen, but it just doesn't link up and, and sync up. So, as we're seeing right now, again, Texas, 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 good night. Pretty soon people begin to figure out that Texas is in the sights of the current administration. And I think that, uh, you know, again, your governor is right to put everyone on notice. But let's get into the weather control because it's affected Texas, Alex. He who controls the weather controls the food. He who controls food controls life. And that's the great disassociative uh, uh, blank, or, uh, blind spot in most people's thinking. Uh, I, if anybody, I, I just put up two articles for you, because lasers can control uh, the weapon, uh, the, the 2025 weather documents, which, by the way, when I wrote, you remember this because you have me on your show, when I wrote the book Weather Wars and Unnatural Disasters, that was originally published 15 years ago. I think I've reprinted it two or three times. I've gone through the whole development of weather warfare. But in the meantime, when people send you, Alex, or me, uh, pictures of two uh, just perfectly straight lines in the sky, and then chemic trails are usually black lines, those are what are called tunneling lasers. And I just put up on my website, I don't know if you've got a chance to see it yet, I just minutes ago, but the gentleman who says we can control the weather with lasers there are hundreds of patents, starting out with 4686605, Bernard Eastland, HARP, but it goes way beyond that. The satellite patents, use of artificial satellites in Earth orbits to modify the effect of solar radiation. That's 5762298. So without boring everybody on all the numbers, I posted those on my website, but I want to quote Claiborne Pell. He said, basically, now that we can control the weather, this is 1995, create earthquakes and tidal waves and use it as a weapon of war, we need to do a treaty. Russia and the United States, now listen to this, have worked together hand-in-hand -hand for 20 years in developing weather control. The Russians were at Lawrence Livermore Laboratories cooperatively working and received an award uh, some of their work, for some of their work on weather control. So the point being 
is is that look at what you do. Basically, in the uh, we own the the weather weather as a force multiplier twenty twenty five by the Air Force. By the way, I reprinted that entire document. They can go on the the uh, you know just an internet search for it. But the point is, is that how about Zygmunt Brzezinski, National Security Advisor? He said this in nineteen ninety two. Technology will make available to the leaders of a major of the major nations techniques for conducting secret warfare, of which only a bare minimum of the security forces need to be appraised. Techniques of weather modification could be employed to produce prolonged periods of droughts or storm. And so what about happened? Secretary of Defense Cohen in '97 in Army Times saying we have weather and earthquake weapons and tectonic weapons, and so do other states and non-state actors? Then we talk about it, and we're supposedly kooks. When we come back, I want to get into the drought in California because I had meteorologists on five years ago who would get up on the news and show the planes out spraying uh, to block the water and make it fall into the ocean, not come in shore. Absolutely, and we've got we've got so much. But there's so much documentation, so much actual screen captures of the tornadoes, too. I don't think people really understood what, what you just said and what I just said as relating to creating earthquakes, tidal waves, volcanoes, tornadoes, the weather, putting blocking fronts in. In other words, keeping the water from falling out in California. Well, it, I mean, the bankers have always wanted to bankrupt farmers and take over. People ask, why would they do this to California? They're taking over some of the most fertile land in the country. We'll be right back. The president's saying he'll use executive action to raise taxes. He's already done it on borders, defense, energy, uh, the Second Amendment, you name it. So we're seeing a massive acceleration in tyranny. More tyranny is unfolding in a month or two than what happened in a year before. In fact, that's an understatement. Steve Quell's our guest. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. Steve, that's what's so frustrating is that I've had over the years, I think I'm going to get them back on, four or five West Coast meteorologists. And they would, I mean, I've, I would get them on because I would see newscasts on YouTube of them going. Now, the Army's doing something out here with the Air Force. We know they're doing some drills, and it appears their chaff is blocking the rain because these water systems would come right in. You can find these on YouTube. But something's blocking them. I, I don't know what, quite what's happening. Then their listeners educate them. They go look at the patents for aluminum dioxide, barium salts, the rest of it, where they can disperse the nuclei or cause it to rain. Uh, this was uh, weather weapons used, of course, on the Ho Chi Minh Trail in Vietnam. That's on the Weather Channel, Discovery Channel, History Channel, all have shows. I've had the guys like, like Ben Livingston, who was on before he went on History Channel and Fox, I mean, they, it was declassified. I saw the declassified documents. I called him up. I got him in studio. He was 90 years old. Then he got threatened not to come back on. But they treat us like children, Steve, because all this stuff's going on. And I want to get into what's happening in California. But, but when we come back, I want to get into all these massive preparations, the confluence, the race war preparations, the war on police that you talked about 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And we're not defending bad police behavior, folks. We're talking about the tactic, the gambit of divide and conquer that George Soros is funding. Uh, it seems like they're making their moves. So I want to know what's coming up in your expert view. Is this the big one or is it just more preparation? But first, finish up in the four or five minutes we have, uh, Steve, uh, on the situation uh, with the weather control. Well, more and more people, Alex, across the country are now starting to get the uh, uh, idea on chemtrails. And, it, you know, there's so many patents on combining iodates and, and barium. I mean, uh, a system and method for the irradiation of the planet's surface areas. Uh, you know, results of patents. I mean, there are literally hundreds of method of increasing the likelihood of precipitation by uh, the artificial introduction of seawater. Here is the point. We are at war. We are seeing Jade Helm. Uh, there's, you know, there's all, there's so many documents, each one. But number one, you know, our military test, test, test. But beyond that, there's a, I believe, a very evil plan to basically, and, and primarily the reason Texas, you know, obviously the oil and gas industry in Texas, but primarily because of your border, but more importantly, because of your economy. Remember,
remember this. I, I came up with a quote. I've used it on uh, InfoWars, your show so many times, Alex Jones' show. The bottom line is rape, pillage, and plunder, they are taking the United States under. Every time people hear the word derivative, they should say this to themselves. That's just a fancy word for someone's pick my pocket. But in the weather modification world, and I get, I get so much flack, and i got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, with the amount of flack that the mainstream uh, goes against Alex with or me or the others calling us everything they can, crazies, doomsday, uh, porn, whatever they say, you've got to understand, and Alex, this is important, their neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, tell a lie, tell a big enough lie, repeat the lie, and pretty soon people will go into a cognizant dissonance to disassociate the truth because the truth has already been dismissed and repeated repetitiously uh, made fun of ridicule scorn well so, that's what the know. that's what the attorney general said to the national association of broadcasters he said repeat 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 the anti-gun messages never stop and literally brainwash the public absolutely only they never brainwash us they just basically dump their celestial pile of sewage into our cerebral cortex and call it the truth. I think everyone listening to you, everyone listening to me, has listened to you or will listen to either one of us in the future, needs to start boycotting. You know, and I mean that, effectively boycotting. Sure, maybe a thousand letters to Fox won't get any notice. Maybe two thousand, maybe ten thousand won't. But those, uh, those idiots that continue to put down empirical evidence are wrong. Let me just give you a good example, okay? It, in, in, and I want to share this because Stay the there. Way, You're going to have the floor when we okay. come back. Steve Quell, 18-minute okay. segment coming up, stevequell.com. I want to get into, again, the big picture, what's happening, why are there 200, 300 articles a day lying about you know me? I mean, what are we saying that scares them so much? But there are literally, as he was just saying, thousands of patents about how to put uh, barium salts, aluminum dioxide, and, and then radioactive isotopes into jet fuel so that it's then aerosolized and sprayed out by the plane to modify the weather. And then they gave the guy that came up with it, you can look this up, the name escapes me, in 1992, a Nobel Prize for Science. And then like the next year, the chem trailing starts. And they've got planes that do it special. They've got it added to the jet fuel. The pilots don't even know. NASA said uh, 15 years ago the Earth was 21% darker. Now it's 30-plus percent darker. And they show satellite photos showing the jet trail lines darkening the sky. And then a few years ago, we, we saw a national fifth-grade science book admitting plane spray chemicals to help give the Earth sunscreen to stop global warming. But then you find out the sun's rays, the UV goes through it, bounces back up and can't get out, or, or the heat it creates on the ground can't get out. It's actually heating the planet. Some think that there was an ice age coming, which the Bilderberg Group actually talked about secretly in the 50s, and so they've been doing this to try to stop an ice age. I, the truth is it's all secret, so we don't know. We just know it's going on, and I didn't mean to digress. I want to go back to our guest and get into Jade Helm and other big issues he's working on and open the phones up in the next hour. SteveQuell.com is his site. Before I go uh, any further, we fund our operation with high-quality products. I have 50 crew members. Right at 50, it's very expensive. It takes tens of millions of dollars a year to run this. If we were in New York, it would cost three times that, and we couldn't operate. We take 95% of the money that comes into this operation and fund it. You cannot fund a greater tip of the spear against the globalists with the writers, the reporters, the films, the nightly news, the syndicated radio, uh, all of it, the news websites. And so in a win-win, we've developed the most powerful, high-quality, purest, organic. You've seen the rave reviews on third-party sites. We know we're political targets. We put out the best. The super male, super female vitality have changed lives. You've heard the reviews. You've heard what these concentrates do to counteract the globalist uh, chemicals in our body to make us feel more like we should naturally. Infowarslife.com, infowarsstore.com, 20% off, super male, super female vitality. You've got a seven-day countdown. This ends 
next Sunday. It's started at InfoWarsLife.com, the countdown. Big sale on that front. We also got in a limited run of Prostagard that we set out to make the Rolls Royce of prostate care. We've shown you the Mayo Clinic separately just on Saw Palmetto saying that, yes, it is you know, openly a treatment medical doctor say for prostate enlargement and overall health uh, of that area. We had lycopene and plant sterols, zinc, vitamin D3, and selenium and copper. You look up any of those in the health of the prostate and other glands, it's off the chart. I take it every day. You take it with the nation iodine that we have, the true deep earth source. You take it with super male vitality and once a month oxy powder, and that alone is life-changing. I mean, I've still got 20, 30 pounds to lose. I gained 99 pounds. I've lost 65 pounds. I had uh, surgery on a hernia I've had for 14 years, gained back 10. But I've already, in five weeks since the surgery, lost most of that weight. And it just gives me more energy, more stamina, more everything. Fusing all these things together, and it supports the broadcast. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And I want to thank all of you for your support. We couldn't be doing this without you individually supporting Infowars.com spreading the word about the broadcast. We're under attack because we're becoming effective. People are listening in government. I can't tell you how many congressmen and women we call to get on as guests. And they say, sure, I'll come on. And then they're on the show and they go, yeah, I'm a listener. And then they describe shows we've done. Other ones we call, they go, we're listeners, but we're going to be under the radar. More of us know what's going on up here than you think. And I have like senior retired uh, Secret Service agents on, they say the same thing. Bongino has said on air, you wouldn't believe how many Secret Service listen and how many New York cops listen, so stop bashing them. Um, you know, that's just a few thugs they protect to make us all look bad. And then I begin to do more investigation, find out just how many people in the system itself are awake. So the globalists want to maneuver us somehow into a civil war. They want to get things destabilized with race riots, then they want to launch some false flags to, to blame the Patriots or, or have somebody attack the military during Jade Helm or attack them and say we did it. There's a lot of different scenarios, but we know they're going to pull one of them in my gut. Now, Steve Quayle, we're 12 minutes out from break. You've got the floor. Um, get into Jade Helm, the big picture. Why do you think there's this confluence of all these factors? What's your intel? What's your gut tell you? What's coming up, Steve Quayle? It is truly the time that they have chosen, the Illuminists, the globalists, and the uh, global elite, a Luciferian agenda. Here's the deal. They want a global war. They need a global war in order to basically get rid of the old. The New World Order, ladies and gentlemen, basically is a, just a buzzword for take everything. It was based on God, based on the Constitution, based on freedom, and bring in the greatest uto utopian, ut uh, totalitarian control mechanism the world has ever seen under the rule and reign of Satan. That's a, that, and, and they can call me whatever they want to call me, and let me share this, too. Alex, your products are critical for people to integrate into their bug out bag. As, as I talk about weather war and the war that's on food, come on, we've got 20, 30 million birds, uh, chickens and turkeys, the egg uh, production in Iowa is cut back. We're it's back actually 40 out. million now that have died. Okay, okay I stand corrected. Uh, it seems like what's a day but another 10 million. Uh, the point being, we've got Southern California, the garden of uh, the United States being systematically uh, warred against by weather warfare. Now, why would anybody do that? Simple. You cut the food, you kill the people. You and I caught a lot of crap together for Deagle. Let's call it what it is, reporting on that. Yet, even in their, quote, disclaimer, they still can't explain why there's going to be the greatest immigration. You notice that was one of their excuses that's going to come to pass. And I don't believe there's anything sinister about them. I believe they're being absolutely truthful. All you'd have to do is listen to one of your old videos, my um, radio shows, and quote all the people on population control. But the point is, we're going to lose 80% of our population. So, Jade Helm, listen, the military test, test, test. And not everyone in the military is evil. Not everyone in law enforcement is evil. The point being, it's that the evil has a louder voice. So I want to share something, ladies and gentlemen. You must do 
what you can do. I'm not on social media. I'm, you know, philosophically opposed to it. Marcus Wolf, Primakoff, those guys, you and I were the first two guys, and thank you for having me on your show, what, 15 years ago, whenever we talked about that, that set up, uh, you know, the intelligence gathering operations. So use their uh, weapons against us. When you see Alice getting taken on, when you see me getting taken on, whoever's telling the truth getting taken on, you get all your social media crew, you get them up and you bombard Fox, you bombard CNN, you just absolutely saturate it and you shove it down their throat. You're right. That's what they don't like is that we continue at the Boston bombing and other events that are fishy or these places where the Justice Department's trying to start riots. Whatever the case is, my reporters are in there getting the intel and they don't like the fact that we're able to challenge their official narratives. Alex, you put people into the field. They put them in front of a green screen, i.e. CNN. You're not out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you watch, it, 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 listen, we can quote sources until we're blue in the face. We can, re we can refer to documents. We do all that. But at, at this point, you've got to open your eyes and open your ears. How do you know when someone's over target, when they get the flack? In, 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 in America, there is no longer truth. The prophet Jeremiah said, woe unto them who call evil good and good evil. Alex, you've used the word evil probably, you know, in describing these people. They are evil, and the evil is absence of all good. It's They're the way you harsh. described them. You would come on the air 19 years ago when I first discovered you and I was reading your books and listening to you on shortwave. You'd come on my local FM show, and you would describe a total inversion of reality, an overthrow of all that's good, the destruction of the family, uh, their plan to overthrow every institution. And I'd say, Steve, come on. They just want to take over the institutions and be in charge. No, they want to destroy everything. They want to, listen, and this is something that out of the phoenix, okay, the phoenix is a bird that catches fire, self-emulates, and then a new birth, a new, you know, 256 times George Bush Sr. or whatever used the term the New World Order. The New World Order is nothing more than Satan's total attack and war against the God of heaven and the people of God. You, when you broke the Mayak report, when, when we were talking about that, I came on as a guest, we talked about all the official rules. I was people that, didn't believe it was real for a full week, and Ron Paul called me and said, I know you don't lie, Alex, but is that really real? And of course, it was real. It was real. And see, we continue, uh, continue the, the, I guess you would say the, well, we, we carry on to present truth, truth, truth. But you've got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. The more a person will take up the cause of truth, Alex, the more they will get involved in the info wars, whether social media. The next time anybody takes on Alex or takes on me or takes on anybody, you need to flood their boxes and say, you're wrong. If they say there is no such thing as weather, the war quote the patents go look on it i put it up and by the way alex the last time i was on your show uh breathe no evil we did a quick brief on that uh, weather wars i just went on amazon to look it's funny your book some of your videos and stuff and and things that we originally sell at one price people are turning around selling to people that aren't really aware at a higher price for instance weather wars and unnatural disasters I saw it for 30 bucks. I've only got 300 of them left. The last time I said that on your show, they were all gone in a matter of days. But the bottom line is, I, I, at 60 $90 people are selling them. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, when we make... It shows people are valuing the truth now more than ever. So, let me ask you this question, Steve Quell. How is the power structure going to strike back at you, myself, and others past just the demonization phase... I mean, the demonization we're receiving is conservatively 10 times what it's ever been in intensity, and it's, it's, it's sustained, uh, it, is, it is over the top, and it's because they know the establishment that isn't evil, part of the establishment, is listening, and it's giving them <coughs> basically aid and comfort to realize we can defeat the globalist, we can come together. I don't think they like the fact that we're, that, that, that we're letting folks understand that the globalists are not invincible. Well, no, but the way they'll do it is they'll cut, obviously, we're seeing the Internet protocols. There was no legislation turning the Internet over. Yeah, really, do you want to have uh, some foreign intelligence service running what Alex Jones or Steve Quayle or whoever can talk about? You know, the bottom line is, Alex, that's how they're going to do it. They can cut the phone lines. I, re I went through four brand-new Mac computers last year that they fried, okay? Fried. 
as in F R I E D. I have good ISPs. I have good, you know, firewalls and all that stuff. But you know, there comes a point when when you're telling the truth, the fact. Now, here's how it has to happen. Like I said earlier, and I sent Nico an email saying we have got to get the people to understand that they won't allow, allow excuse me, they won't allow the lies to stand. If they're saying something that's just patently untrue, look at this, the media, and ladies and gentlemen, the reason the media doesn't do any reporting any longer, they just agenda size, maybe that's not the correct word, but anyway, I'm using it that way. They just repeat whatever the globalists tell them. They are literal right. repeaters. They are now regurgitators. Yeah, and, and can I tell you something? That's why I say anybody that listens to mainstream media, it's like taking a disgusting bath in warm vomit. Now, nobody likes the smell of warm vomit. Nobody even likes, the, you know, you say that word. But that's what people are exposed to when they're listening to the mainstream media because they don't want you to think. I agree. <laughs> Watching MSNBC and, and, and that guy, Maddow, is like bathing in monkey vomit. Monkey vomit. Well, you won one step better than I did, you know. And because we want to, you know, it's like basically high diving into a cesspool swimming pool, expecting to come out of the water and uh, not uh, understanding the reaction of people. It's like high diving you. into a swimming pool that Hillary Clinton's been using for a toilet for 100 years. There you go. The point being, ladies and gentlemen, is that you've got to start becoming proactive. So many times, you know, one, one, one group of individuals used to say, you know why we listen to you, Steve? We think you're crazy, but it's good entertainment. I said, no, the reason why you listen to me beyond the mocking is because the truth will always condemn your denial. I came up with the term, dumb unto death. And I think that people have got to understand that they're counting on that. I can't stop what's going to happen, Alex. You can't stop it, but we can save as many lives and we can get as many people out of harm's way as possible. Well, let me say this then. Out of all the confluences, all the things coming together right now, the acceleration, is this just part of the continuum of acceleration or is it building towards something big? I mean, what do you really think Jade really Helm think, is? Okay, Jade Helm is the... Uh, placement of men and materials throughout the country for an initiating event that I still believe is going to be twofold. On the left hand, you're going to have a mega quake. And again, Phil Schneider, before he was murdered in 1995, 96, uh, I talked to him, Alex, one week before, and he was talking. The reason he was murdered, by the way, was because he was blowing the whistle on the, all the black budget technology. But I believe that on the left hand, you're going to have an earthquake. You're going to have a West Coast quake, and you're going to have a major Midwest quake on the New Madrid. I think on the right hand, you're already seeing it. The voluminous amounts of, of uh, economic uh, uh, disasters that are, are brewing. King World News, Eric interviews people all over the place. You interview Paul Craig Roberts. We interview the best of the best. When you bring on half a dozen or a dozen billionaires with a B, and they're saying the same thing, and they didn't get their billions by being stupid, yet the average guy doesn't understand when he goes to the grocery store that turkey's gone up from a buck thirty nine to a dollar ninety nine or worse uh, ground round or ground beef three ninety nine five ninety nine or or you go to buy uh, potato chips and the bottom line in that is is that I'm saying the bottom line because I overuse that on purpose Alex it's to show people it doesn't matter what's up on top what are they giving you at the end of the day they're giving you less food for more money and telling and, you and the economy's great yeah, and that's a lie. And, and if it's so great, why do we have close to 100 million people unemployed? Why do we have 49 million and plus or minus a couple hundred thousand people on food stamps? What is going to happen? It's a time is, bomb. It's a time bomb. It is a time bomb. And so the Civil War, you asked me what's going to happen. Stay there. I want to get into that because the Justice Department admits they're stirring up race war. They admit it's about federalizing police. The summer hadn't even got here yet. And you've got, you know, riots every couple of weeks. They're about to kick off again in Cleveland. Roads are blocked right now. I mean, this is totally contrived. Where's it all going? Communist China freely allows the sale of bulletproof armor plates, while our U.S. politicians argue from banning Americans from owning body armor. Does that sound right to you? Arm your American body at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit.
Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. There are hundreds of silver products on the market today, but there's nothing like the astonishing health benefits of the multi-patented One Silver Solution. Boost your immune system at a great price with our Silver Solution Liquid, starting at $12.95 a bottle, now available in regular and extra strength. That's half the price of the leading competitors. Call 844-USE-SILVER for your free catalog or go to onesilversolution.com, onesilversolution.com. There is only one Silver Solution. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Are you tired of being cyber-raped by big government and big business? Are you tired of being forced to cough up information, private, personal information, against your will? Well, I found the answer to their invasive behaviors. It's called Dvasive, D hyphen or D-Vasive. It's made for PCs and Androids. Go get it now at the Google Play Store, D hyphen Vasive, Dvasive, Dvasive. It's an app. Get it now and turn Big Brother off. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. I know this, the Rockefellers in the U.N., you can just Google it, it's mainstream news, have built 14 seed banks, gene banks, plant and animal banks, arcs, in rural, remote areas like near the North Pole and other areas, for catastrophic collapse. With all the different technological developments that are happening with nanotech, GMO, the rest of it, it's only a matter of time until something gets out of hand. And when you just see the evil makeup of all this, and how the end game is always not prosperity, but just hell on earth, and you can see decades of preparation by the controllers leading towards this point, and the boldness of the White House running false flags, giving weapons to Al-Qaeda and ISIS, and shipping guns into Mexico, and persecuting Christians with the IRS and nobody gets in trouble. George Soros spent $33 million just in Ferguson trying to get stuff going. The Justice Department got caught doing it as well. Now they're out in the open stirring it up, taking tragedies and blowing them out of proportions. And then these are tragedies, but the globalists are the big bad guys and they have an end game. So Civil War, Steve Quayle, stevequayle.com, what is the game plan? Why is the Justice Department doing this? Well, Al Sharpton said to federalize police, but what do you expect to see this summer if stuff is already so out of control? Well, I, I expect to see uh, ISIS because I believe that terrorism is nothing more than someone's foreign policy initiating the plan. And again, Alex, when you did the MIAC report, people would not believe the fact that Christians would ever be considered terrorists. The FBI knows of 50 plus, and listen, there's probably 500 plus actually 
uh, radical Islamic training camps, not one arrest, not one disarmament. And you've got to ask yourself the question, why do people knowingly turn a blind eye to that? Well, it's because you have the agenda. And the agenda, I'm afraid, it's already been declared when the uh, uh, entity basically made the statement, uh, America is no longer a Christian nation. You know, and, and that's critical because... Our well, the entity fathers, also said that if we build a business, we didn't build it. I mean, they are trying to invert reality. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. They are inverting reality. And that's why I came up with a statement this morning, you know, just it, 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 the virtual reality is total mental enslavement and reality avoidance, okay? Virtual reality is total mental enslavement and reality avoidance. I actually, I'm going to come up with my own uh, book of uh, uh, terms, and one of the terms is going to be reality avoidance syndrome. You know what, Alex? Your trouble point blank is you've got the ear of multi-millions and millions of people telling them the truth. The people who are starting to come awake are seeing that the lies are no longer selling the agenda. Therefore, they've got to get rid of all recipients. Larry Graithwell, we talked about him. Bottom line is, when you've got the people that influence the entity talking about the fact that in, back in 72 that 30 million people had to die, take the population version and brings it up to 100 million. The thing that bothers me the most is the disconnect. I don't care what military spokesman says when he has to look to his civilian handler over the right and basically said, what do I say now? And he's not even familiar with the Jade Helm documents that he's basically telling everybody not to worry. I absolutely salute with my whole heart. I have so much uh, uh, respect and admiration for the people of Bastrop that didn't let it slide. And absolutely. And it's the military that lets us know about all this. I mean, it's people on the inside that give us all the documents. That also makes the system mad. We'll be back, Steve, in 70 seconds, third hour. Steve Quill's our guest. I'm going to give the number out in the next segment and start taking your phone calls with specific questions or quick comments for Steve Quayle because uh, I want to open the phones up on the issues he's covering, which is pretty much the waterfront. I don't want to digress off into, you know, other things that are out there, you know, plugging something. I want to specifically focus in and pick his brain on where he sees the world going. Representative Louis Gohmert suggests feds using Jade Helm to provoke a fight with citizens. Congressman calls labeling of Texas and Utah as hostile states suspicious. He said that last week in a new article in a local newspaper uh, that we uh, linked to here in the story in Texas. He says that it, it appears to be an attempt to provoke a fight. And to get a confrontation going, and I agree. What? How do you think we ought to handle Jade Helm and all the other exercises going on right now, where we get the video and they're practicing going after patriots, conservatives, libertarians, veterans? What do we do when the military is given a mission that's so unconstitutional? We know the individual soldiers don't like what's happening, so they're not the problem. In fact, they're more awake than the public on average. But still, what do we do? Uh, go out and educate them in public, uh, expose it, shoot video, uh, tell our cities not to do this. Uh, what do we do in, in, in your view, Steve? Well, we're doing all that, Alex, so we're doing all we can do. Uh, you know, four years ago, and I want to make this clear, you know, I put up on my website and, and read it multiple times on the air. I believe it was a true word from the Lord that God said, I am against you, Pentagon, and your plans to make war against my people. We're seeing right now a two-star general. They're asking him to be court-martialed because he gave Jesus a glory at a, a commencement speech or something. I think the people have got to understand it's a spiritual battle. You touch, you touch on it, and I touch on it, but there are a lot of people who who cannot equate their faith, in essence, who go to church on Sunday and can't understand that they've now been vilified. So, Alex, the truth is the only thing I know that can confront this. I would say this, that the provocations will become more and more pronounced, okay? And so, again, the idea is, is that information, information... So they're trying to push us into a conflict. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you said it earlier, and I want to make it clear, too, that these individuals want 
a civil war. They're going to push it. If you notice something interesting about the last riot, the Crips and the Bloods came together along with the Nation of Islam, and they were they were peaceful. But again, what when I say relatively peaceful, but when you you don't know who's on the police force. This is why you know I think it should be know your cop. I have some uh, some you know amazing uh, people just like you do that are in law enforcement that send you uh, absolute state of the art information. But I've warned them all, and this is what I'll warn everybody who's in law enforcement that listens to your show today. This is critical, Alex, life and death. Beware of observers assigned to your vehicle. Beware of observers assigned to your department. Beware of just recent guys that you know for a fact haven't been out of the military so long that are coming in. And and notice their demeanor. You know, street smarts are what uh, saves a cop's lives. Street smarts now can be... uh, uh, identified, if you will, to the information. Absolutely, they- because when they drop the hammer, they're, they've got everybody actuaried and, and profiled. Uh, they're going to have a night of the long knives where they go after a lot of the people in the government. Absolutely. And here's the deal. Uh, if you're not a politically correct cop, then you've already been targeted for elimination. When when the man who, it cost him his life, let me one more time run this down, Alex, real quick. The Do it when we come back. You're going to have the floor when we come back. I I know the story, it's powerful, and it's just crazy. Here's the deal. We've got to educate them. That's what we're doing. But we also need the people out there that have listened to you, listen to me for all... They're going to have to get aggressive. Exactly. It's time for everybody to be a leader, everybody to be heard and seen. They can't get us all. The maximum push is right now. The globalists are not invincible. We're going to come back, though, and talk about your friend and more and take phone calls and hit a bunch of other news. The economy, the election, it's all coming up. I like to shoot clay pigeons. I like to play golf. I like to fish. I like to hunt. I like to hike. I like to go see movies with my friends. I like to go play pool and drink beer. I like to uh, have a good time. I'm not looking for trouble. I don't have some death wish or power wish. I have looked at the documentation for 25 years, 23, 24 years, been on Air 20. And I saw it for totalitarianism that it was, the globalists bragging about a corporate world government. But if we were just going under a corporate world government and it would just be new owners and they wanted to keep taxes low because that actually creates more revenue and they wanted to skim off the top. I would be a talk show host against it, and I'd try to reform it, but I wouldn't be every day getting myself right with Jesus, every day just just not even able to believe what's happening because I can't go shoot clay pigeons or go play golf or go fishing because I'm physically sick the whole time because I know that the globalists are doing what they're doing. And I just can't avoid reality like Steve Quell was talking about. That's our problem. And I get people that just want to go to a baseball game or a football game or want to go bowling. I mean, if we weren't in such dire straits, I'd be picking my kids up two or three nights a week. We wouldn't be going home and doing homework. We'd be going to the bowling alley like we did when I was a kid. We'd be going camping. We'd be playing tennis. But instead, I don't know when the big hammer's coming down, but the economy's degenerating. The government's running around like all hands on deck, gearing up. All the manuals we get, nothing about radical Islam, everything about veterans and gun owners. And none of that is going to fly, and, and Christians, unless they're planning atrocities to be blamed on us. And man, when Al Jazeera was here with American reporters, or when BBC is here, or when ABC is here, they look at me like they hate me, and like I had done something to their kids. I mean, they have really conditioned the public on the enemy side to hate us. And all we want is them to have freedom, and prosperity, and a future, and Americana, Prosperity, I mean, we're good people. We're just mainline Americans. 
I instinctively and spiritually cannot bow down and be a slave. I instinctively cannot just give in to all this. And we've had a huge effect. But I'll tell you, it's, 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 it's frustrating. And, and I'm glad to have done what I've done. We're going back to Steve Quell in a moment. I am proud of the fact I've been honorable. I can't help it. It's in my bones. I also don't feel worthy at many levels because I'm not perfect. And in and, and, and a incredible task of this magnitude, I mean, do, do you understand this radio show is the number one worldwide media event in the face of the globalist? Steve Quayle has millions of viewers and listeners as well. I know he's probably glad. I, I may have a little bit more because it's so dangerous. This isn't fun. I mean, I want people to understand this isn't fun, okay? I don't go out in public and get awards. I don't want to be famous. I didn't want them to take our guns in Texas like they were trying in 1994. And I learned about the UN model system to, and, and all the rest of it. I thought other people would care and want to do something. You know what? You have cared. You have done something. And they know you're getting active. So I'm telling you, we're, we're approaching a key event. And when I talk about myself here, it's so you as a new listener or viewer can understand this isn't a game. And it's the sincerity we have and the truth we have and the documentation we have. I mean, Steve Quayle is so upset when he's speaking that you can hear him just, just almost unable to talk. And I know that feeling. So I've just got to go 100 miles an hour to get past the emotion so I can just get it out because there's nothing more frustrating than spending years reading this stuff and reading the books, hundreds of them written by them, how they put fluoride in the water to dumb us down, how they put chemicals in the vaccines to brain damage our kids, to, to know they're coming with forced inoculations. It's here. They're coming with everything. They're coming. They're already here. And to see most of the servants of these people aren't even bad. They're compartmentalized. They want to go bowling. They want to go play golf. They want to go shooting. They want to go out with their girlfriend or fiance. They want to go see a baseball game. And so do I, man. And so they look at me and they say, you must be lying because if that was true, I'd have to do something. Well, it is true. And what's happening is we're rapidly approaching the point of no return where everybody has to admit that evil took over and it's about to get a lot worse. So people are finally waking up and that's why the globalists are coming in with internet kill switches and censorship and the founding fathers wouldn't be welcome in the military, blah, 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 because they're about to make things so bad they've got to normalize stuff and hide it in plain view. The toll-free number to ask questions of Steve Quayle is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. First time callers, please. 800-259-9231. I will skip this network break to give Steve more uh, time. We'll go to calls. We have a brief pro-life announcement at the bottom of the hour. Uh, Jakari is in Cleveland covering what's coming up tonight, but he's going to lead a pro-life event Thursday at the main Planned Parenthood mother death camp ship. The SS uh, Ku Klux Klan Command Center, literally, uh, the proto-Hitler facility up the road on Ben White at noon. And we're going to hold up Black Lives Matter with the history of the genocide against black people, and everybody for that matter. Uh, and so we're going to be announcing that at the bottom of the hour. We're skipping this network break, but uh, we're, just, we're just doing the best we can in the face of this evil. And the 17 million murdered black people. And even though they brainwash a lot of the black people and turn them against everybody and turn, doesn't matter. We're still going to try to stop them from the real killers, the Democratic Party and their KKK command base. Literally, to just look it up. Uh, biggest supporters of the Planned Parenthood is the KKK. And they've got the moron liberals all out there supporting them. God, they're so stupid. That's another thing. I'm so sick of arguing with idiots. I, I just, I just... Steve Quell, you got the floor. I'm skipping the break. You were getting into your friend that was killed for exposing the red, blue, and green list. Now they admit all these lists under InfraGuard, clergy response teams, their HUMET teams, their rollout. I mean, and all these snot noses that have now got security clearances and think they're cool and part of a winning team against us. I mean, it is. they have no idea they're going to be betrayed in the next phase of this once the Civil War kicks off. Um, Steve Quayle, break down exactly what's, uh, what the globalists would like to pull off and why they're always trying to maneuver us towards this point. The wisest man in the world, at least detailed in the history, was Solomon. He said, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The 
thing is, Alex, is that people have allowed their country to be taken away from them. Now, saying all that, the next step they're going to do is they, and remember this, you can always look at two words, they both start with C, control and chaos, okay? Out of the chaos comes their control. And let me share this, this has got to strike a chord. We're talking about these guys want, and again, this has not sunk in, uh, they want two I'm sorry, they want 90% of the world's population dead and done away with, whether by vaccines, whether by weather warfare control, whether by this, whether by that. Now I'm using a different form of weather. But the point being is, is that that's the end game, okay? The total destruction of mankind, creating the image and likeness of God, and then an insert will come in, an entity made in the power of darkness's likeness. And listen, I, I think it should have been plain to everyone. When the entity made the statement, um, uh, America is no longer a Christian nation, probably that's another time he told the truth. Second time is when he said America is the greatest uh, country in the world. We intend to change all that. So when you when the press will let the highest officer in the land get away with lie after lie after lie after lie, uh, I believe, Alex, that we're being set up for a, and, and this is not a pet uh, plan of mine, it's what I've been told by all the people that I've ever contacted with or have contacted me more likely, that Russia and China have their plans set for this country. We've talked about Chinese below the border. People didn't believe that. Talked about Russians in Canada. People didn't believe that. Our own government brought the Russians in to help take away the guns. One of the guys who, whose, whose brother was married to a high-ranking Russian official saw the letter. It was signed by former, um, I think it was Janet Napolitano. We've seen the murder of innocents. We see it every day. And this is why I salute what you're doing. Again, my goal is get the blacks, and I'm saying that, the Latinos, uh, the whites, everybody to understand who's behind initiating, trying to get us, meaning us collectively, all Americans, to fight factually and create civil war. The fact that the United Nations is in this country, and I want to share this, Alex, maybe your sources can validate this too, but I've been told that a secret treaty and agreement exists pretty much to give back Azatlan to Mexico. That's why the Desert Southwest was chosen as Jade Helm. Now, have you heard that from any of your sources? It's incredible you said that. I, I was told that by some military folks two weeks ago. They said, Alex, do you notice that's the Azlan map? Uh, everything we do is multifaceted. Of course, it's to condition the public. Of course, uh, it's so the public can take pot shots at us and you can be blamed. But more importantly, down the road, they are looking at a civil war and actually breaking part of the country off during that and using that as the excuse to introduce the U.N. peacekeepers. Absolutely. Now, look who's on the Security Council, Alex. You've got Russia and China as two of the most powerful members on the Security Council. You've got basically John Kerry running with his tail between his legs to Moscow and, and begging for a meeting with Putin. You've got the whole uh, strange arrest of Masonic police. You've got the story of one of them going to the Soviet embassy. And this isn't just on, uh, you know, wacky stuff from Europe. This is the real event. Right now, as you and I are on the air, uh, I'm seeing uh, RADCON levels in Hartford, Connecticut. This is important to what we're talking about, Maryland, U.S. Look, they've already decided that they're, they're going to sacrifice Washington, D.C. That's why they set up Denver as a provisional capital of the United States of what's left of it. But the fact that your sources told you that two weeks ago, that I'm on your show today is the 18th of May, year 2015, that's got to tell people that we, meaning Alex, I don't know your sources, you don't know my sources, and I can guarantee you they're in different parts of the world and country, but the fact is when, when we have two or three uh, high-ranking military intelligence, law enforcement, all these people saying the same thing, I take notice, and, the th and here's why. Well, let's go back. I mean, remember General Boykin? I remember yeah. Admiral Moore? Remember... Uh, 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 People like Ben Parton still alive. He was the former head of Air Force Weapons Development. They were always the ones blowing the whistle before. That's what the globalists have as a problem, is that there's so many patriots in the military and in law enforcement, but now the purge is accelerating, and they've got these younger generations 
that they're filling the ranks with, uh, and I'm not saying all the young ones are bad, but I tell you, they've got their cadres in charge now, and you can just tell, get into your red-blue list, because that's now come out in mainstream news that they've got right. these roundup plans. As best I can tell, though, start the Civil War, uh, use that to tear up the military police and the public, then bring in foreign troops to stabilization force later. Folks will beg to have the power turned back on six months, a year, two years, if they go with this hot plan. Uh, but after the stabilization, they're going to take out most of the leadership, uh, the minions that help bring them to power. They never want to keep that group in charge because they were part of the coup takeover. Absolutely. It's like the old series with Chris Christopherson, America, spelled with a K. And I encourage everybody to go see that. And it's interesting, Alex, because in the scene in America, and this is what I've been told is planned. Again, the man that told me about the Red List, real quick. The Red List are people that are outspoken, obviously gun owners. And this is what I'm trying to get across. Empowered like, individuals know. is what the Pentagon and Jade Helm calls us. Exactly. But gun owners are on the top list. They're the red list. The blue list are complicit military and uh, and law enforcement that will go along with the initial roundup and takeouts. And didn't it bother you when you heard Jade Helm? And the blue list, by the way, dies in 60 days after the red list is fully culminated. I had a brother, uh, when I say a brother, a brother in the Lord, who is a, a former Vietnam vet. God bless each and every one of you Vietnam vets. He's in the woods. He speaks Russian. They're tracking a joint uh, uh, what do you, uh, maneuver or training exercise, and he hears the Russians speaking, and he speaks fluent Russian, saying, those stupid Americans, once we've done what we need to do with them, that's when we do them. And he said, Steve, they were openly talking and laughing and snickering. He said, you know what was amazing? He said, it didn't appear that maybe more than one guy who the Russians are training with, they spoke perfect English, spoke Russian. So, I, I said this years ago, the perfect double cross, quadruple cross. The point is, Alex, everybody who can turn on each other will turn on each other. We know that's going to come to pass. Well, I want to get into red and blue list and, and green list, but before we go there, look at how they've shut off half our power plants in seven years. Look at how they've written all the laws to put our jobs overseas. And then we wonder why why the weathermen, uh, the, the, the meteorologists go, yeah, these planes are flying around out here doing something that we believe is blocking the water. We don't know why the weather system doesn't come into the West Coast. They've been for five years blocking water to bankrupt all that. You can see it happening to then buy it up later for pennies on the dollar. And to kill people who are starving. That, that's the problem, and I, I think this is what minorities have got to understand. The, the reason they have been given the benefits, and I say this, uh, the benefits that they begin is so that when the time comes, they can shut them off, the electronic benefits. It's to make you cards. dependent. It's to make you dependent, and when that dependence is no longer being fed, literally, or being subsidized, that's when everything goes crazy. And so, again, the, and by the way, the blue list, again, law enforcement officers, uh, National Guard, military who go along with the red list to take over the guns, then they they get terminated. They don't go to pre, uh, re-education camps. The green list are the people that go willingly and that have no political association. That's right. They they want the next wave is always a bunch of dumb goobers, even in Charlotte Isserby's uh, secret yeah. documents that she basically got leaked out uh, back when she was the deputy head of education, was that once they've taken over with the police state, then they phase that out completely and have these cult-like little trendies going around that just run everything. Yeah, it's THX 111. Seriously. Or it's the new uh, cyborgites, okay? It's the composite entities that are as little human as possible. This is what uh, uh, Ray Kurzweil, all the people we've talked, that's not for this show to talk about that, but all people have to do is look up two words, transhumanism and singularity. So when I hear I don't believe, my immediate response now, Alex, is you don't think. When they say, you're crazy, I said, I may be crazy with truth. You're dumb unto death with lies. I'm sorry, but that's where we're at right now. And again, people have got to take responsibility. Look, it's my kids. I, I, I'm a grandfather. I, you know, I mean, me. Uh, and I say that because I never thought I would be a grandparent. But the point being, I look at my grandchildren and I weep. I look at my kids. Half my kids get it. Half my kids don't. Oh, I know. You know? It's even in your own family. And I mean, here's the thing. Nine times out of ten, 
the wildest stuff we're talking about, it turns out being worse than we were saying. I mean, I mean, that's what's so crazy is that think about everything that's already happened, what we put up with now. If you listen to our shows in 1996, it's like all come true. And then I'm just hoping that we are wrong. The problem is 95% of what we say is from them. It's out of their fat, stinking mouths. Listen, it's also, it's also uh, again, it's, it's biblically prophetic, obviously the Great Tribulation. When I first went on talk radio, let me just point out a statement I made 25 years ago. I said, you'll know you're in the end when all the world's dormant volcanoes go active. I, I remember now, you saying that in 1996. Yeah, I remember you saying the, 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 the Great Ring of Fire will heat up, you'll have volcanoes everywhere, and I'm like, this guy's entertaining, but I was like, come on, Steve. I mean, let's be honest. I, th I would tell you on air, I think you're going too far. Yep, and there were things that you didn't want me to talk on air about because because you even said later they made you nervous. And the point being is this, is that when we're so far ahead of our time, those who haven't caught up with their time can only ridicule, and that's and they can only denigrate. And ladies and gentlemen, I, and Alex, this is the scary part. I've had, and this is this affects you, so people have got to hear this. When you see an orchestrated hit against Infowars, Alex Jones, the, the reporters, listen, your reporters have got testicles. I'm sorry to say it that way, okay? They've got the cojones to go and get it. When you hear that the big Biggest names that most people listen to are inventing stories, whether it's Brian Williams, whether it's the whole cadre, these guys trying to be something they're not. And then I got to tell you, you got guys around in the field like Joe and all these people, Jakari, you know, these guys are, are fearless. And what's interesting is that they have the truth. Notice this, the cowards live in a world of lies. And I tell people the American battle cry is not meow, okay? And and I won't go. And there. exactly, we're just trying to bring back real journalism. We we openly admit our bias of liberty and telling the truth. And it's it's all successful. We are successful. They can see our success, and so they are coming after us in so many ways. I won't even get into Steve. What do you think I should be doing? Just praying more because my sixth sense is look out. Uh, my sixth sense is get ready. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, your sixth sense is correct. You need to up. Grade your security, you know, and I pray, Alex, you've heard me pray for you, your wife, your kids. And, you know, by the way, I want to say something to my critics and Alex's critics. Neither one of us kiss anybody's butt. We're trying to tell all you people they're going to be forced to bend down and kiss bottom that you don't have to. It's get right with Jesus. And I mean that, Alex. I am subject to the knowledge that outside of the grace of God and all the people praying for you and praying for me, the point is we could go into eternity at any time. And we have to live with our mortality on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. Increase your security, increase your security, and increase your prayer life. That's, that's what I would say to do. Uh, there's no doubt that this is uh, some bad stuff coming down for everybody. I've never seen such an exponential gear up, and I can feel it, too. We'll be back with your call. Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The hashtag Black Lives Matter is being used by demonstrators all across the country. But why should it be capped with the actions of police? What if it was expanded to include another area where lives are being lost? Abortion. It wasn't that long ago that New York reported it had more black babies aborted than born. With this in mind, join the Black Lives Matter demonstration this Thursday, May 21st, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., at the Planned Parenthood on Ben White Boulevard in South Austin. The demonstration will be aired live on the nationally syndicated Alex Jones Show. Make your own Black Lives Matter signs and join us this Thursday, May 21st, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Planned Parenthood located at 201 East Ben White Boulevard in Austin. Be sure to use the public right-of-way and let's put truth into action. Doing, Good, brother. Just recently started using your products. Everything you said about them is correct. Me and my wife both use a lot of them, and it's made a lot of changes in our lives here. Well, thank you, brother, because it also funds our operation. But doing that, I know I've got to have the highest quality. Super Male Vitality was developed 
to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. We do the super male and the super female vitality. Big changes, a lot of energy. We've gotten off of the cheap energy drinks, energy shots, saving a ton of money there. Sourced from powerful organic herbs, harvested around the planet, and then concentrated for maximum potency. They want to stun and dumb down, and energy drinks and stuff just cover that up for a while, but then burn you out, in my experience, whereas stuff that gets your glands naturally going goes right to the source. So it's pretty exciting, and I love it. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable, coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules. You will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Well, the evil is now out in the open, and it always seeks to totally dominate and control the good. And when you've got a government that's openly run by foreign banks, putting us under secret treaties, just dismantling every basic freedom, teaching five-year-olds the most bizarre stuff you can imagine, you know that the hammer's about to drop, and you can just see... The gear up. I mean, I'll tell you, it's financial. The numbers are coming in that despite unlimited money printing, it has not helped the economy because the elite give themselves the money, don't even pass it into the economy. Then you just have inflation, but at least you'd have an economy. Now we have inflation because of elite spending, but we don't get any more of the profits. Uh, and when I think about the time bomb of the spoiled brats out there, they only care about themselves, all these rich people and, and, and middle class folks, when the bottom drops out, and then I think about 100 million people on welfare, 50 million on food stamps. This is a time bomb. Steve Quell, stevequell.com is our guest. Uh, before he leaves us, we're going to talk about True Legends, the series uh, that he's now uh, basically the main host of. I'd say starring in, but he doesn't like people to use those type of words. Very humble man. And we're going to play some of the amazing HD video uh, of him in the jungle and investigating uh, ancient ruins and things to understand exactly where all this comes from and why the elites always engage in basically satanic activity, human sacrifice, you name it. What is this evil that keeps manifesting? We're going to talk to him about that in a moment and go to George, Chris, Rich, Michael, Max, and many others. But coming up, Mikhail Phelan had this idea about a month ago, one of our great writers and investigative journalists. Uh, I was asking around, Jakari Jackson said, yeah, I'll be glad to lead that. So I want to do it while we're live on the radio and TV so hundreds of thousands can see it, millions can hear it. This Thursday at the main Planned Parenthood facility in Austin, Texas, I'm going to have Reverend Childers of BlackGenocide.org on. Uh, I'm going to have the uh, other folks from a pro-life group uh, up in Dallas on. Uh, also to promote what Jakari's doing, they're going to reach out to their uh, pro-life groups. But whether you're pro-life or not, come on. Planned Parenthood was set up by Margaret Sanger, who got awards from Hitler, gave awards to Hitler. That's on record in, in the National Archives. You can just type in Margaret Sanger's racist quotes. You can see scans of her letters saying we got to kill the black weeds. 51% of black people have been aborted, 17 million since Roe v. Wade. And it hadn't helped their communities. They're worse than ever. Uh, what's the answer? Kill them all? See, all the people claiming you're racist if you don't support Obamacare or if you don't turn your guns in, they're the real poverty pimps. The Democratic Party, not that Republicans are any better, but the Democratic Party were the Klan. They had a Southern strategy that wasn't working because Republicans under Eisenhower were getting all the minorities to vote for him and whites who were Christians and veterans. And Southerners, like my, my dad's dad, and East Texas is the South, folks. Texans always go who are ashamed of being part of the South. Like, That's not part of the South. It's, it's really part of both. You know, he ran on an Eisenhower-type platform, got elected to county government, and was for, you know... Uh, desegregation and stuff like that. 
and he was a World War II combat vet, Army Air Corps. They they got that we needed to f f fix this country, and he of course was pro life as well. Uh, you know, before he died, the point is they're killing people across the board, and they're saying Black Lives Matter when out of 330 million people, you know, there's probably a couple of questionable shootings by the police of black people a week. There's just many or more white people. Those don't get the same attention uh, because it, they haven't invoked all the race garbage. So we're going to be out there with signs that say Black Lives Matter, trying to hijack the Justice Department's movement to create race war, to point out the real racial attacks are against black people in the womb, and we know they're innocent. So briefly to pop in is InfoWars Nightly News News Director, Rob Dew, then we're going back to Steve Quell of stevequell.com. Uh, Rob Dew, uh, tell folks about this demonstration coming up. Everybody needs to be out there. It's short notice, but I want to see at least 100 people out there. And let me tell you, if you're black, you really need to be out there because they're targeting everybody with abortion and all this. But let me tell you, you are the apple of their eye. So I expect to see a lot of black folks that are listeners out there uh, at this event. But anybody... Uh, who isn't for a, a you know genocide? Who wants to stand against this and break the Justice Department's spell uh, of, of racial divide? This is a key event. Call the media and tell them get out there and cover this as well. Um, go ahead, Rob. Do yeah. So it'll be this Thursday, May twenty first, eleven a.m. to two p.m. While you're on the air, we're going to be there. We'll be getting there a little early, but it'll be kicking off at eleven to two. Uh, 201 East Ben White Boulevard, 78704. You put that in a map, mini map uh, application out there, and you'll be able to find it. And if it. it's raining, bring a big umbrella. Yeah. It, 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 the babies are inside with, chance of rain. with scalpels and, 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 and picks and knives are raining. So. It's not going to be cold. We were out there during the 50th of the JFK protest and freezing rain weather, and we were fine. We were out there the whole day. So being out there three or four hours, you'll be fine. Uh, we're going to be printing out some pretty big signs. They're going to be uh, 11, uh, 18 by 24. We're getting those printed off. Uh, we're sending them off to the printer today. Why are you racist against killing the black people? Well, let me. And speaking of racist, let me read a quote from. Why don't you uh, just kill Margaret the black Singer. people? You'd be liberal. Well, here's what Margaret Sanger said: Founder of Planned Parenthood, colored people are like human weeds and are to be exterminated. So is her. Uh, That's in a letter to Colgate. Right. And so blackgenocide.org, we've uh, interviewed the founder a few times. He, he's asking, is her vision being fulfilled today when you have at least 35% of the abortions in America are done to black people? Now, and some cities it's up to 80%, but it's, right. it's... Oh, yeah, New York said... Shelters has cracked the numbers. It's 51. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, they're saying it's 1,800 a day. I mean, there's all these statistics you could look at, and it, it, and it really is. Abortion is a war on people. And it's real it's racism. The point is, it really is done on purpose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's... Well, they're in... 78% of the Planned Parenthoods are in lower-income lower, uh, neighborhoods. So they're going after the minorities. It's, uh, it's amazing. And then, you know, there's, there's some pretty cool stuff on black. I say cool. It's the way they, uh, they, the way they uh, organize and talk about how. Yeah, let's document, Cam. We can show the history of genocide. Yeah, you look at this, the, yeah, the history of genocide, talking about how the Nuremberg trials were, were made to redefine people and, and the victim class. And now you have in 1973, and I, I sent you guys the link on that as well, you, they define who a person is. Well, now a person is somebody who hasn't left the womb yet or ha who has left the womb. So then that kind of leaves everybody up for grabs. If, if you're still in the womb, you're a, a prime target at this point. So it's a really, uh, you could just go to blackgenocide.org and go to their, uh, uh, it's called abortion and genocide page. And you could just read how they were classifying people and how they started uh, dividing people into different subgroups and say, now you're and now they're human. saying now veterans, rights. veterans don't get care. Now old people don't. It's dehumanization. It's coming up this Thursday during the three-hour show. We're going to be spending 20, 30 minutes each hour out there talking to folks. And if you like killing black people, you think this is a great thing, or the white kids or Hispanic kids or Asian kids in there, uh, you can also come on the show while we're out there with our live cameras and tell us tell us how it's liberal and loving or how they aren't babies. Rob Dew, thank you so much. Anything else? We've shown the map a couple times. We'll be on the sidewalk there in front. There's also a nice big area in front of where Congress Avenue meets up with Ben White. So we'll probably be spread out all along there. Uh, it's a, two buildings down from the intersection of Ben White and South Congress. So hope to see everybody out there. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thursday, May 21st, 201 East Ben White, 78704. Like to see you out there. And we should put a press release out with this video breaking this down. All right. Thank you so much. All right, Steve Quell's our guest for five minutes the next hour of Overdrive, and that's all she wrote for this transmission. I do want to go to these phone calls uh, here that are on the board. But, Steve Quell, before we do that, uh, any points on abortion, any points on the Democratic Party and its history? Uh, and tell us about your new TV show. Well, first of all, you really cover 
of Margaret Sanger, and this is the this is the quintessential slap in the face of the Afro American population. The point is, is that it's genocide. That's what that's what you, you know. I can't do a better job on that than you just did. The point that we made earlier about the Democrats funding historically funding all the giveaway programs was ultimately, and I'm going to say this: it's for the day of slaughter, Alex, and that's exactly what we're trying to prevent by the grace of God if he gives us a little more time to save more lives and and a nation that is bathed in blood the whole abortion issue let me give you my two cents on it's that. about it cursing a- America isn't it Yes, it is. And it's about the sacrament of abortion. Satanists have said, you Christians are, this was said to me, you Christians are so stupid. You don't get it. This is our sacrificial altar mocking everything you believe. And I said, I get it. I'm sorry, but I even understand you. That's what I told the person. How many abortuaries has it turned out? It turns out that they are doing weird rituals, dead babies, blood, and they go, oh, the doctor was just crazy. No, they're Satanists. Who else do you think wants to kill? Of course, the Satanists usually are the third trimester ones. Other ones just want money. But the guys that will do the third trimester, they love it. They are sacrificing babies. Absolutely. So, so we're, we're in a we're in a we're in a spiritual conflict, Alex. We're told in the Bible, in the Book of Revelation, everybody quotes it. You've heard me say this on even coast to coast, I'm sure. But the point is, is that it's the testimony of Jesus. That's who it's talking about. Now, look at this country. You can worship anything and anyone. If you want to see how, and I would include and encourage the Afro American community, go and read uh, the statements that uh, the president has made concerning Jesus Christ and the Old Testament. Yet, when you compare it to what he is his statements about Islam, it's it's the truth. He attacked Christianity it. on Easter this year. Yes, he did. And mocked it and ridiculed. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, so shall he reap. And even as we're talking today, Alex, the blood is running. You know, it's funny. And, and for the record, that wasn't me in the True Legends uh, trailer, though Tim looks like a younger me when I had more hair. Timothy Alberino took a film crew down to Peru and Bolivia looking for the, we're actually on the trail of live giants, actual giants who have been seen in Peru and Bolivia in contemporary times. But in order to lay the basis, the technology of the fallen, we're laying out the case, and this is, this, you know, is on my website. You can go look at it, or you can go to uh, truelegendsaseries.com. Sure, but it is you sitting in front of the fireplace. Yeah, that is me. Forgive yeah. me. That is me. You know, maybe maybe my ego demands I wish I were in the jungles. But the point being is, is that we're, we're presenting a series. I'm, I'm funding a series, you know, trying to raise the funding for the series for nine uh, episodes as opposed to the Everything is Aliens crowd. We've got some of the best eyewitness views of who's messing. You know, anytime, for instance, my film team was constantly monitored by intelligence agents and agents of the Vatican for the the record to keep an eye on what we're doing so it's going to be an amazing thing the five minute trailer i would hope everybody takes a look at because it's it's as you said it's incredibly well done and the documentary should be out available on the 15th the sale of proceeds will fund the other nine issues and you know man i i just am in awe at how you pull off everything you pop because it costs millions of dollars to do what you got to do fortunately Fortunately, our, our budget, you know, is is that we can do each episode for about a hundred to one hundred twenty five thousand dollars. I have been approached by the past. I get calls almost weekly, emails uh, easily every other week from a History Channel, Geographic Channel, all these guys wanting me to come on, wanting to turn over my pilot friend that actually flew a dead giant giant out of Afghanistan in uh, twenty. I'm sorry, two thousand and five, uh, and basically when the Special Forces team went in to take them out. The giant killed them all, ate them all. And the fascinating thing is, i got to share something that's interesting, is that when we're down there, everybody who's uh, like in the 80, 75 to 80 years, whether they're in Sardinia and uh, the Mediterranean or in um, South America, Peru and Bolivia, the point is, is that the old have an amazing story to tell. The young people, they're just buying into what they see on TV and what they watch on the Internet. Well, we certainly know there's a lot of hidden crazy stuff. And I've, you've said things before I thought were just over the top, and then they turn out to be true. Well, well I definitely want to watch these series, and it, it, it's really interesting. Steve Quayle, stevequayle.com. Let's go to Chris in North Carolina. You're on the air. Welcome. Yes, sirs. Uh, this question is for Dan, or Steve Quayle. Sorry, I was about to say Dan Quayle. That's weird. It's okay. Dan Quayle's. <laughs> go ahead. 
my question is, do you, Quail, do you think the government already knows about an impending doom from uh, Islamic terrorists in the Jade Helm area? Do you think that's going to implement martial law? Well, I think it's going to be one of the things that springboards us into martial law. And, uh, yeah, you, you can't say ISIS, an open border, with any type of intellectual or emotional or moral integrity. Why have the borders not been secured? Alex has had people on. I've talked to them, interviewed them, uh, read their emails on the air. They're basically saying, if we arrest anybody who's a known terrorist, and I'm not talking about uh, uh, Latinos or, or Hispanics, they're talking about someone comes in from the state to Department and orders them uh, let go. So the point is absolutely ISIS. Here's the point in terror. Terror is ultimately to bring about submission, and that's what they're trying to do. We see it in the politics of radical Islam in the United States. We see it all through the Middle East. And the point is we could have stopped this. And, and if anybody remembers, Alex, remember the long uh, victory parade, four and a half miles long of ISIS and their captured U.S. stuff in Iraq? And yes. The, and, and people are saying, why didn't we hit them then? Well, simply because the powers that be in this country, uh, deep down, they are Satanists, and they're going to use everybody. It goes right back to Albert Pike's statement, you know, turn the Muslims against the Jews, Jews against Christians, and when everybody wipes out everybody, we bring on Lucifer, the true God. And I'm not going to argue with anybody. That's immoral. Well, sure, that's what they're doing. And, and then people say, Alex, you're the guy that exposed false flag terror on 9-11. Why are you saying ISIS is real? They have raised... This al-Qaeda jihadi army, they've changed the name to ISIS and Islamic State to confuse the public. I think Colonel Schaefer on, you name it, the Pentagon knows. 90 plus percent of the Free Syrian Army is al-Qaeda, is ISIS. And so our government's funding them. They let them come in. They let them attack. No need to even stage an event now because the upstream they created them, allowed them to operate through Saudi funding, through NATO funding. Then they can take our liberties in in the response to ISIS. And ISIS, in return, is given part of the Middle East as their payoff for being the secret army that destabilizes the West so a police state can be put in place. And that's the bottom line of what's happening. Separately, though, it just shows what a farce Homeland Security is because they say their main mission is who? Those of us that don't want to go along with the New World Order. Thank you, Chris. Uh, let's talk to Michael in Mississippi. You're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Alex. Hey, Steve. Uh, Steve, I had a question. Um, I listened to several interviews that you that uh, with Bob Fletcher, including the one you did with, on the Hagman Show. And uh, Bob Fletcher's pretty much stake, put his uh, investigative credibility and reputation on the line about an incoming celestial event that he believes martial law must be established or set in place. That's right. A lot of folks think there's a, a asteroid coming in or something. Uh, what do you know about that? Well, I, you know, I, years ago I talked specifically about uh, Nibiru. That's that's the um, that's the official ancient name, the tenth planet. Planet X. Yeah, Planet X, Gabriel's Fist, Lucifer's Hammer. And based on what a Navy SEAL I posted on my alert site, Navy SEAL explains a big event as being that, okay? In other words, Alex, they know of all the earth changes that are going to be happening. They know of all of the electrical discharges. They know of Roche's, R-O-C-H-E's limit. And the point is, is that the whole universe, if you want to uh, look at it real simply, is go and look up Velikovsky, Worlds in Collision. And then the time of this is interesting because we've heard both of us from separate sources that they're uh, stocking their underground uh, well sure and how many how many record blood moons have there been well uh what is it three the fourth is coming up i mean i i, I don't even put stake in all this but the elites do they're obsessed with the final segment of the main radio broadcast we're in a little five minute overdrive that's internet only infowars.com forward slash show well some stations carry the fourth hours so that's not quite true I want to thank all of our affiliates out there. Be sure and support them. Uh, be sure and um, support the sponsors. Spread the word. Some of the stories up on Infowars.com. Explosive new documents reveal Obama, Clinton's spin, and lies on Benghazi. Al Gore's climate change lies exposed. The latest on that. Now that now he says in, in a few more years we'll be all flooded and dead, basically. Of course, he said in 2007 it would be by 2013. Um Leftists exploit biker bloodbaths to complain about white privilege. They say, why isn't the National Guard out on the street? 
because they they arrested everybody. It's it's it it happened in a localized area. It isn't just random people going out and burning stuff. It was a outlaw motorcycle gang impromptu rally. And the whole thing's very suspicious. Now they've got a giant rot rally coming up in Austin, Texas, and who knows what's going to happen with that. Most of the bike riders are great people. I don't care if you want to wear an outfit and be part of a club. I'm talking about the criminal groups uh, claim they're anti-establishment, but all I see is them working with the establishment, with their drug dealing and all the rest of it. Going back to Steve Quell, we're taking phone calls. Steve, uh, what do you think uh, is really going on with this? I mean, you say you have some questions about it. Why does everything keep popping up in Texas? Well, I think that Texas, number one, has one of the uh, most, uh, the strongest real based economies in the world without massive amounts of debt. Number two, it's the spirit of the Alamo. Number three, it basically is because if that secret agreement that is in place that I've been told that you've been uh, affirmed that it is too to return Azatlan to Mexico, then obviously the greatest resistance is going to come from Texas. Texas has a history. And by the way, was there a TV series out or uh, HBO special called The Sons of Texas? I think there was or something or is coming out. And I thought that was very prophetic in its timing. So it's because of the border. It's because of the strength of the people. It's because you're obviously a God-fearing state historically with, you know, minor exceptions in some of the politics. And the, the idea of all of the assets that are available in Texas, meaning they all. Oh, it's definitely its own standalone country. And the U.S. Yes. surpassed a year ago Saudi Arabian global production. That's mainly Texas is the biggest oil producer in the world. It has its own infrastructure. They've looked at the demographics, and they know politically Texas is not going to say yes to the new world order. And so Jade Helm is a dry run. We're not demonizing the military. It's there to condition them as well. Rich in Ohio, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex and Steve. Welcome. What a combination. Uh, it's great to talk to both of you guys at the same time. You guys are excellent. Uh, I watch uh, your videos and, uh, uh, you know, I connect the dots. Thank you, brother. You're both, you're both skirting around the big dot. You both see it, but you don't see it. Well, hey, you're on the air. No, I don't need to preface it. Got a minute and a half till break. Go ahead. Look look at the work of one Gil Brossard and Planet 7X and forget all the rest of the crap. And then look at Richard Shaw's new production on the Tura Codes. And these are the two biggest dots that are interconnected that you're missing you know i've been on the air for 20 years and i'm always hearing about planet x i know there's a kuiper belt there's an asteroid belt i know we get struck by big objects i know it's real but people are always saying it's coming in two three years and it just becomes this all-encompassing thing i know governments are dug in four big collisions uh, comets you name that i mean so i know that's a real threat yellowstone super volcano all of it uh but to just say it's this and it's going to happen, I don't think we can say that. Steve Quayle? Alex, you know, I hear about Yellowstone's going to blow any minute. I fly down there almost weekly sometimes. I mean, I'm down there. It's not ready to blow. The bottom line is uh, it doesn't do you good to worry about Planet X if you're going to be get wiped out, uh, you know, in August, September, should Jade Helm go uh, active. The timing is always the issue. Doesn't do Stay you there, good Steve. Back in 70 seconds. Minute, I want you to right. finish up. SteveQuell.com, Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. Nightly News tonight, 7. Visit GCNlive.com today. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
The over-the-top nature of reality is why so many people just can't wake up. Because it is legendary, epic, what's happened. And let's say we're exaggerating. And, and half of it's true. It's still over-the-top insane. And unfortunately, I think it's probably worse than we're saying in many respects. The elite have gone insane like Caligula. I want to go to Max, Mike, uh, and uh, others here in just a moment. And I want to give final comment real quick after that to Steve Quayle. I really appreciate riding shotgun with us today. Max has a question for Steve Quayle on weather weapons. Go ahead. Hi, uh, Alex Jones and uh, Quayle Man. I was wondering with uh, the weather weapons they use, um, electro frequency, magnetism, microwaves, and also chemicals, do those interfere also with, I naturally assume so, the human body and mind? And also a further extension of MK Ultra? Uh, are you asking me if it can affect the human mind? Uh, if they're also used to uh, affect the human mind, yes. Thank you, Max. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Alex. His phone broke up or something. I could barely hear Yeah, that's it. why I let him go. His phone went bad. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 absolutely. There are so many studies. You can go on the Internet. Electronic mind control. Also, it's possible to produce heart attacks. I mean, they have electromagnetic weapons, and I believe that's what they used on Breitbart when they killed him within five, what was it, within five or ten minutes after National Defense Authorization Act, you know, 1867 was in place, Andrew Breitbart was dead. What about Michael so, Hastings and blowing his car up? I mean, they really are killing yeah. people. Yeah, for for a certainty, and I've done my homework, Alec, it's just on weather wars. People say, well, they can't do that. I'm just telling you, you they can, and when I've spent, you know, I, I'm looking at my, I don't know, 400, 500 footnotes, whatever there is. The point is, is, yes, they can, yes, they are, and yes, they will. We're not in Kansas anymore, as I say every day. I mean, we are in a futuristic weirdo land, and the public still thinks we're back in 1950. We're not. Uh, let's talk to, um, hmm, let's go ahead and talk to Drew in Missouri. You're on the air with Steve Quayle. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, man, great. Great talking to you, too. Uh, real quick, my question is, uh, you know, i got two small kids, and I want to be prepared for this upcoming civil war. Uh, what are the three, you know, maybe three top things you suggest a guy should do? i got a farm, you know, I can prepare and self-sustain. What do you suggest, like guns and ammo, silver and gold? Food and water. Yeah, by the way, they've been holding gold down. It's starting to go back up. Uh, Steve Quayle, what would you do the top things to get ready uh, for the uh, unraveling of society, which we know is coming. The only question is when. Right. Well, this is going to sound extreme, but at the time, when I say extreme, at some point, all of us have to throw our smartphones away, okay? That's true. That's a radio tracking beat. Oh, yeah, they track you everywhere you go with it. Yeah, yeah, but the number one, food first. What I'm telling everybody, Alex, food prices are going to rise. Food will be available, but at nothing near recognizable prices. So no matter what a budget is, and I know the farmer has got food and stuff stored up. You have to have a form of self-defense. You must absolutely and be familiar with it. I'm sorry, a father is charged biblically to protect his family and alex you've got on record i've got on record there's nobody as long as we're alive and god gives us grace and breath that are going to harm the. that's right and it's not we're looking for violence you've just got to be ready to kill for your family and already be preset that you're not going to think about it when the time comes or you'll be dead absolutely the other thing you've got to think about is having a secondary location everybody needs a back door by back door if you have lancer you know, make sure that you have other areas on your land beside the home. The point is, is that, you know, you've got to get a, a realistic working knowledge of the things that disappear first. And you want to be where everyone else isn't when the cash are killing cash. So the only way people outside of the system who won't take the mark of the beast will be able to do any type of commerce is with gold and silver. There's an attack on that. They've kept it down. It's getting ready to move. And we're watching that in the last three days. That's right. I want to have you up very soon, if you can do it, Steve, to break down, because you're a top prepper, one of the main founding guys. You ever talk about that, about just the war on individualism, on cash, on farming, on the family. I mean, you, we can see the systematic takeover. SteveQuell.com, amazing books and information. They're on the site. People can check out and support you. Thank you so much, Steve Quell. Thank you, Alex. God bless you. Thank you.